James in San Mateo. Some people call it San Mateo, but I choose to call it San Mateo because I'm from California. Okay, he writes to me and he says, I have been wondering why USB-C seems to still be missing from so many audio products. Is it a lack of audiophile USB-C cables? Is it a lag in the design process and USB-C just lags other computers and accessories? I'm now at the point where the only thing in my house that is not USB-C is my DAC and my integrated. It's nice to be able to swap out for another cable I have lying around in an emergency. So what's the deal? Well, okay, first off, there's, you're right, we, even our new products that we are designing today in a world of USB-C, and if, if USB-C is the, is the very different look, I think Apple calls it a Thunderbolt, or is that, a, yeah, I think that's a Thunderbolt. Well, I'm not, I'm an Apple guy, and I don't know all these terms, but it's, it's a, you can flip it in either way. It's a little oval plug that goes in, and it's great. I love it. All my Apple products now are USB-C, and I just boop, 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 and it all works. Power's in there. It doesn't matter which way you plug it in. doesn't matter which one you plug it in. Very much nicer than the old USB, uh, you know, A, B, and C. So, yeah, it's a lot nicer. And none of our products have USB-C. So, we should probably do that out of convenience. USB-C is, I believe it's, the standard is 3.1, USB 3, so USB, the Universal Serial Bus Committee, decides what each of these versions, USB 1, 2, 3, are going to do, how they're going to perform, and what they mean. And USB-C is extremely high. I think it's like 10 gigabytes, or uh, 10 gigabits a second which is more than adequate for video, for any number of high speed, high data rate applications. Audio, even surround sound, is so far down the neck of all that. We, we don't need USB 3. USB 2.0 is overkill for audio to begin with. And so, I, I'm usually in a constant battle here with the engineering guys who look at it and go, well, that's silly. Why would we add USB 3? Nothing even, I mean, it, nothing approaches. It's so overkill, it's crazy. And then I have to go over and say, might be overkill, but people would kind of like it. So at some point, we probably should. But that's the reason that Audio Gear doesn't have it. It doesn't need it. It doesn't need anything to do with the high speed capabilities of USB 3.1, which is USB-C. Someday, just to make it easy on everybody so you don't have to have all these dang cables, we'll probably go over to USB-C. But until that time, that's the reason why. Okay. Thanks for the question. Talk to you later.